using acrylic paint, I painted a blue background onto my canvas and then traced onto it my drawing of beehive. Here on my palette, I have raw umber, alizarin crimson, sap green, cadmium yellow, raw sienna, and ultramarine blue. And I added some titanium white. I mixed the white with raw umber and ultramarine blue uh, to get a nice grey for the fence in the background. I usually like to get my background painted in first so that I'm not distracted. I just wanted to show you the beehive, but I ran out of time, uh, so I'm doing it now. And it gives you a little extra in there to see. I lay in my middle tones first and leave my lights and darks until later. It depends which I add, it varies each time. I like to develop my painting all over as I go along. Um, I don't like to overwork one area. Using the ultramarine blue, titanium white and a little raw sienna to bring the colour down, I make a pale blue for the table. I like to paint in a very um, relaxed, loose style. Um, there are not a huge number of details in my paintings. I add a little more blue to give me some shadow. This is actually a skep, S-K-E-P, and it's made of straw. I've used a little green, uh, sap green to put in some grass, and now I'm using raw sienna to block in the bee skep. I'm not too worried about the direction of my strokes at this point. I'm just putting paint on my canvas, but as I go on, I make my strokes horizontal to help me indicate the coil of the bee skip.
With the ultramarine and raw sienna, I mixed some shadow, which I had put on the fence, and also I am now adding to the B skip. I'm using a sort of semi-circular stroke now to create the impression of um, the circle of the hive. I add shadow down um, one side and also underneath the table. I'm beginning to put in my darks and I'll also put in some lights to highlight. shrubbery and some grass but I don't want to dwell on that too much I really want to show you in this video how I paint a beehive so I'm going to cut quite severely in several places so back to the beehive and I have used a three-quarter inch flat and cadmium yellow with some raw sienna I'm adding titanium white to the yellow and sienna mixture to give me a brighter highlight. I sweep the colour down the edge in one stroke and then I pull it across using that um, semicircular um, brush stroke. With my alizarin crimson ultramarine blue, I make a little violet to add to my shadows on the bee skip. I add the round entrance and put in three little bees. Here I'm putting wings on my little bees. Three is a good number in painting. Odd numbers are more interesting to the eye.
just dabbing away here, adding lights and darks wherever I think they need to be, reinforcing the dark side of the hive and the um, shadows it throws. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and hit subscribe to see more.